Hi everyone and welcome to Reveal! In this video I will show you what kind of reports you can find in your dashboard and how they can help you in overviewing and understanding your business. The dashboard contains on top of the page some essential metrics. Revenue or the gross revenue shows the total income coming from all your customers since the beginning of your store. The margin represents what's left on the bottom line in terms of revenue after subtracting the cost of goods sold from the revenue. If you are not filling in this information in the onboarding process or in the order feed, we will calculate it based on the difference between the selling price and the acquisition price. This number represents the total number of customers from the entire lifetime of your store. This number represents the total number of orders from the entire lifetime of your store from all of your customers. The average order count reflects how many orders an average customer placed on your store in the entire lifetime. The average order value is calculated by dividing the revenue to the total number of orders. This is the average monetary value of a purchase placed on your store. The average days between transactions spots the average number of days between the first order and the last order of your customers divided by the number of orders. For example, if one of your customers buys today and the next order happens in one week again, the average days between transactions is 7 divided by 2 which equals 3.5. Every business has its business cycle. For example, if you are selling on a pricey jeans, your business cycle might be of one year or more. If you are selling products suitable for upselling or cross-selling, your business cycle might be very short. The same applies to products that are usually bought more frequently. So average days between transactions tells you what is the time interval during which you have the chance to convince your first-time buyer to purchase from you again. The next metric is the Net Promoter Score. The Net Promoter Score is one of the business metrics that reflects your business health, so it's really useful to keep an eye on it. When you'll first get into Reveal, you'll not see any value here, because the NPS survey wasn't sent yet. But you can send the Net Promoter Score survey pre and post delivery to your clients and find out how they rate their experience with your business. The integration between Reveal and Klaviyo, SendGrid or Explore will enable you to easily send the survey and retrieve the information to Reveal. You can look at this metric in three ways. The overall score, how it fluctuated over time, or which is the distribution between detractors, passives, and promoters. Another essential report you will get in Reveal is the revenue versus margin by customer type 1. It's not a secret anymore that this graph will prove that repeat customers are the gold mine for your business. This report shows you the balance between new customers and repeat customers in terms of revenue, margin, and volume of customers. Generally, this reflects the health of your business. If you have a lot of new customers that bring little money and margin, and very few repeat customers that bring more money and margin, that means your business is not sustainable and you need to increase the number of repeat customers. Average retention rate. This metrics shows you how many of your total number of customers placed more than one order in your store. Monitoring this metric year over year or quarterly helps you to figure out if you need to do any changes in your product assortment or customer journey. Chances to place the next order. This report shows you the potential for a customer to place another order according to your historical data. The reason why this metric should be in your focus is that it helps you to visualize 1. The point after which your customer have the highest chance to become loyal and 2. Where is the highest drop-off in the order history? Customer distribution. This report shows you how many of your customers placed exactly one order or two orders or ten orders. In this case, the volume of customers that place more than one order decreases and increases after ten orders outlining a gap in the customer stickiness. And the last one, the retention curve. The retention curve highlights how many customers placed at least one order 
or at least two orders, and so on. For sure, these reports will help you and your team take better decisions, so make sure you check up on them periodically. If you have any questions about Reveal and its reports, write us in the chat.